Right, okay, I am pretty much on time this week, as in recording this time, I don't know when the hell I'll be getting it out by, but I've only had to wait two days for this episode to come out, so that's great considering last week's hell cliffhanger. Since the last episode, my hate for Mia has grown. It's like doubled in size, because... She got Zoe killed by being a bitch. Like, literally, Zoe told her last episode, going into the Deathstroke's base is not a good idea. And she's like, and she's just like, I, rem I remember that. Suit up. So, yeah, she got Zoe killed. So, now that they are here with the present team, I want to see some guilt coming out of her. I'm, I'm sadistic that way, so I want to see some guilt coming out of her, knowing that she got her friend killed. But I'm incredibly excited for this episode, I have no idea what's coming. Last week we had Thea. Okay, first episode we had like, the likes of Tommy, Malcolm and Moira. Second episode we had Katana and China Wyatt. And now we, and then last week we got Talia and Thea. I wonder what's coming this week. It look, it looks like we're obviously getting Diggle, Dinah, Renee, possibly Laurel, because I noticed that Laurel wasn't in the last episode, and that's because the last episode was created by Katie Cassidy. So, good job. It was a very good episode, that. But we're on this episode now, so let's get into it now. Oh, this is going to be strange. Yeah, this is gonna. Yeah, this is a odd. Thing this is not a big issue. Sorry, what year is this? It's 2019. Oh. Uh, what year is it supposed to be? 2040. Ah! That's the season four Arrow logo. Yeah, he doesn't care. Wait, he knows? Don't kill the doctor! Not that doctor, please! JJ came back as well. Cause that's 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 not Manny Bennett. Oh my God! You 
letting spoilers slip. Yep. You are screwed. He looks like Joaquin Phoenix. Whoa. That's the that's the second Yeah, that's the second son of Deathstroke. Oh. You would have been dead if they weren't there. If this was a future, you would have been screwed. So if you knew it was Grant, then why did you call him Jason? Grant to yell his name. What's going on here? She doesn't know what she's talking about. And you tell me, Connor. The way with the Lena and And what? JJ killed her. I don't think I've ever hated a character in Arrow as much as Mia. She's so annoying. That's the that's the reference to season four. This is so cool. Stand aside to take back what is rightfully yours. Let's make Star City great again. Where is man? Yeah, you should get behind me. Hey, you got the time? No, that's exact. It's exactly how it happened. It's exactly how it happened in season two. Daughter of Green Arrow versus Son of Deathstroke. Here we go. It's 
can't be a one episode thing, can it? Sure hell. Not all of the future was bad, right? Just do the good stuff. I mean, the Canary Network's not a bad idea. Could be useful. Then why wait for a future we can start making now? The guilt, that's the basic. The guilt. That's exactly what Lila said until Laurel. I'm tired of waiting for the day when people stop being afraid of the glades and start coming here to raise their families. To uplift our brothers and sisters to be better what? than we ever were. When are them two friends? We keep waiting. Here on out, I remember that moment from season we two. We don't wait for our future in the glades. Or was it season three? Do they have to? Do they have to go home, or are they actually staying? Yes, Curtis. You must be the monitor. You ache for the world you lost, and I possess the power to restore it. What? You can bring back my The recovery of your universe will require a single task. You must betray Oliver Queen. Oh no! Uh, are we really gonna go through Laurel betraying them again? Because I don't want that. I'm happy that the it looks it looks like future team is staying in the present for now and I love it. Because as much as development as we got as much development as we got between Diggle and Connor and William and Mia and Oliver and obviously a little bit bit a little bit between Renee, Dinah and Zoe. It was it's not, it's not enough. I need more. I need more of this. I need more of this building a better better people for the future. Curtis Curtis was Curtis was a surprise return. I would, I wasn't expecting that. Whew. And the actor who played Grant, it was the same one who played him in that one episode of Legends where Connor Connor was the the Green Arrow. I love it when they bring back actors from so far back. Because I know Curtis, that was that was only last season that he left and then came back. But the act who played Grant, that's a, such a callback since season. That was around the time it, that was Legend season one, so that was around the time of Arrow season four. Another reference to the to the Arrow being the season four logo. Woo! God. I love this season so much. It's probably the best season. It is definitely it is definitely up there with season one and season five already. And the 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 quicker the faster season, the shorter season of only ten episodes, it does wonders. Because there's no there's no bit there's no bitching around everything. Like all the moping and stuff is all the moping and stuff is cut in half, and everything is so fast paced. Oh, I'm happy to say that. Season eight of a popular show I watch is not flopping for its final season. <sighs> I have to wait. I have to wait till season. I, I have to wait till next week to watch episode five. <sighs> I'll see you next week for episode five of season eight of Arrow. Until then, we are over and out. Bye.